Hey yo everyone, your favorite uncle is back with some more prelim preparation questions, right? And this time we are going to prove the identity, okay? So if you haven't subscribed, please just do the right thing and become part of our family. All right, so let's look at 5.4, okay? So we are trying to prove the identity in this case. This is one of those uh, somewhat difficult questions, but of course it's nothing impossible. Okay, so they've given us 1 minus sine 2x uh, divided by cos of 2x, and they want us to prove that this is equal to cos x minus sine x divided by cos x plus sine x. All right. Now, remember, when we're dealing with identities, right, or rather proving of identities, we work with the left-hand side and right-hand side separately. Right, because we're trying to prove that they are equal, right? So at the moment, we assume that they are not, okay, until proven otherwise, okay? Now, when you look at the right-hand side, there's really not much that we can do. So I'm going to leave the right as it is, right? However, on the left-hand side, you can see that they've given us um, double angle, uh, you know, uh, in this case, double angles. So we're going to change those double angles into single angles, right? So sine 2x, sorry, this is going to be 2 sine x cos of x, right? Now for sine 2x, of course, there's no other alternative. It can only become 2 sine x cos x, right? Please familiarize yourself with your double angle formula, right? So in this case, we've got cos of 2x. Now, cos of 2x can either be, now please, I want you to remember this, cos squared of x minus sine squared of x, or it can be 2 cos squared of x minus 1, or it can be 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. Now, the question is, which one do we choose in this case, right? Now, what you need to do is just take a cue from what you have on the right-hand side. Remember, what we're trying to do is uh, make the left-hand side e uh, the same as the right-hand side. So I can see on the right-hand side that I've got cos and sine, right? So which uh, uh, which one would have cos and sine? Of course, it should be this first one, right? So I'm going to change the uh, cos 2x to become cos squared of x minus sine squared of x, okay? Right, let me remove these things so that they don't uh, disturb us. Right, so now what we're going to do, all right, now please remember that you can actually factorize, right? So I'm going to start with the denominator. In this case, this is the difference of two squares. Now remember, whenever we've got a squared minus b squared, this is what we call the difference of two squares, right? You can have a squared minus four or whatever it may be, right? So how do we factorize this? So remember, when we've got the difference of two squares, it means we'll have the square root of each of the terms, but in this case, with the sign that is different in each bracket, right? So if I multiply these two brackets, I end up with the difference of two squares. Now notice, in this case, what am I going to do? So this is going to be cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sine x. All right, so um, in this case, it looks like our denominator is getting there. Now, on the numerator, ladies and gents, on the other side, or on the other hand, what's happening there? I've got 1 minus 2 sine x cos x, but I want it to be something that has to do with cos x and sine x. Now, what I need to remember is that 1, okay, all right, I'm just trying to make sure that I get it for you in that particular format. Right, so 1 becomes cos squared of x plus sine squared of x. You remember this, right? That whenever we've got cos squared of x plus sine squared of x, that gives us 1. So I'm going to convert that 1 into cos squared plus sine squared, right? So I'm going to say this is cos squared of x, right? But now 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the plus sine square of x on this side. Okay, right. Why am I doing that? So that I can actually present this as a quadratic equation, right? So in this case, I'm going to write the minus 2 sine x cos x over here. All right. Now, you do agree with me that becomes a quadratic equation, right? So we've got something like this, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, how do you factorize something like this? Actually, uh, sorry, this is minus, right? So how do I factorize this? This becomes a minus b multiplied by a minus b, right? So whenever I square a bracket, right, in this case, I'm going to be left with something that looks like this. So let's factorize the numerator in this case. So what does it become? It becomes cos x uh, minus, sorry, minus sine x, okay, multiplied by cos x minus sine x. All right. Divided by the cos of x plus sine x and cos x, okay, cos x minus sine x. Right. Now, notice in this case, we've got two things that are exactly the same at the numerator and the denominator. So we can cancel this and that. So what do we have ultimately? We've got cos x minus sine x over cos x plus sine x. And left hand side, okay, let's remove all of this, right? So we notice that left hand side is equal to right hand side, okay? So we have proven it. So we can then conclude that left-hand side is therefore equal to right-hand side. It's been proven. Okay, right. I hope that you were able to follow that. Ladies and gents, of course, uh, at times we are required to factorize when it comes to identities, right? And of course, if you haven't watched uh, any of our videos on the proving of identities, I'd advise that you do so. All right. Otherwise, from me for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.